on the mend, I guess, somewhere between fine and not so good. That kind of, you know, that really sweet in between spot where you're sort of feeling it, but you're sort of not. I guess we're all kind of getting to that point where um, we've probably had enough in it. We've all had enough, I think. Everyone's going crazy. I saw a video just recently of these kids in Brixton essentially what uh, essentially putting the pressure on the Metropolitan Police to so, so much to an extent where they actually run them out of their area, which is, you know, ridiculous, really, considering they're just all these little, you know, these little runts, really, for the most part, right? They're not the oldest, just the youngest ran out a whole brigade of police officers from Brixton because of a friend of block party. So I guess everyone's really on the brink. We have, um, you know, tennis players getting involved in the spot of Bova. Novak Djokovic is being, you know, accused of being an anti-vaxxer, not taking credit very seriously. He puts on a tournament, uh, goes to a nightclub. Then, you know, four people out of the five of his content of his kind of like group of people getting have been tested positive for the for it. You've got all the stuff happening with Bolton and the book in the US with Trump and shit. Um, I, I'm assuming a lot of things in Europe are probably missed. So many situations popping up all over the place that makes you think, you know, society is on a brink. We are bursting at the seams. Everyone just wants to get back to some kind of normality. But from what we've seen so far, normality is far, far, far away from our current reality. So far away that I would kind of hazard a guess that we're not going to see it again. Whatever we thought was normal prior to COVID is probably going to be you know it's a long and distant memory so sort of like when you go to do a summer holiday with your friend somewhere exotic right you remember it but you don't really remember it you remember what you tell yourself to remember and i think this is what we're going to be faced with but you know you can there's one thing that remains constant one thing that doesn't change um you know regardless of the temperature regardless of the current political climates um racial tensions the one thing that you can can guarantee on is you're going to get a crazy american woman shouting and screaming at some sort of um, community what gathering about the perils of having to wear a mask and i'm going to play this video just because it made me laugh so 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 much earlier but this is an angry florida woman arguing about the mandate to wear masks and this is also off the back of you know the u.s has had like a mad spike i think they were lucky maybe the first few months no the first couple of weeks after everything kind of got relaxed people didn't take it seriously and somehow over the course of what the last couple of weeks they've had big spikes in texas and parts of florida so you know naturally some of the senators and governors or mayors wherever who you know handles that shit over there they decided to um maybe reinstate lockdown which is really difficult to do or have mandated their population to be like hey put on a mask you know socially distance so we can get this thing under control but in the land of the brave home of the free they just can't put up with anyone telling them what to do i kind of you know have respect for it because i've got a similar kind of personality right when i get told to do something i usually grip my teeth and do the complete opposite just because right but under these current circumstances with it being a life or death situation it, it, you kind of beggars belief why you would do that anyway but let's play the video you literally cannot mandate somebody to wear a mask knowing that that mask is killing people it literally is killing people and my the people we the people are waking up and we know what citizens arrest is because citizens arrests are already happening okay and every single one of you that are obeying the devil's laws are going to be arrested and you <laughs> doctor are going to be arrested for crimes against humanity every single one of you have a smirk behind that little mask okay. but every single one of you are going to get punished by she's got really long legs and a small torso by the way i got you cannot you cannot escape god you cannot escape god i'm gonna say that again you cannot escape god not even with the mask or six feet okay six feet like i said before is military protocol you're trying to get the people to train them so when the the cameras the 5g comes out what they're, they're gonna they're gonna scan everybody we got to get scanned we got to get temperatured the kids have to go to school with masks are you insane are you crazy i think all of you should be in a psych ward right the heck now because none of you none of you know what the hell you are all talking about this is insane and then you want to open this meeting with a prayer to god are you praying to the devil because god is not listening to that prayer because all of you are practicing the devil's laws what happened to bill gates 
Why is he not in jail? Why is Hillary Clinton not in jail? Why are all of, all of these pedophiles that are demanding you all to, to listen to their rules, why are they not in jail? Oh, is it because you're part of them? Thank are you, you part of the deep your state? Time has expired. The deep state is going and down. And if any of you are morning. in the deep state, you're going down I'm, with it. I'm Amen, sister. Amen. But what a bizarre and utterly unhinged rant. There's so many things to pick apart, but you know, nowhere, nowhere to start. But one of the things that's really telling is that usually things come in freeze, right? If yeah, usually, yeah, usually things come in freeze. If you believe one thing, it's more than likely you're going to believe two other things, right? So if you're an anti-mask wearer, you're definitely going to be a believer in 5G and you're definitely going to think Bill Gates is the second coming of Satan, right? You're definitely going to think that. Um, but it's just in a combination, especially in that setting, right? You're there to basically maybe voice your um, opinions be around or to voice your, yeah, to basically voice your concerns around people having to wear masks, right? Mandated to wear masks. And that's why I mentioned, I think, in the beginning of this whole thing where... I was like, ah, oh, I was a bit optimistic thinking, hey, some of these crazies and these psychos that are like anti-mask and don't want to be locked in, um, some of them that we see on social media, maybe they're the lunatic fringe and they might be a really moderate conservative group of people who have some conservative views around not wearing masks, you know, they wanted to impeach their second amendment and all this sort of stuff, fair enough. But you don't see them, right? Maybe because they're not hysterical, but you don't necessarily hear the sensible arguments against it. Like, hey, um, I've read the research. It's only affect it's uh, COVID only affects uh, this certain population of people. It only gets around this way in high in you know hotter climates. It doesn't necessarily have the same, um, you know, it doesn't cause the same amount of deaths or infections in cold climates. I don't know some evidence or right? some showing that you've kind of done the reading, you've kind of looked at the data that everyone else has looked at, and you made your own conclusion because you can do that, right? Right? data isn't just to data shouldn't be there to confirm your confirmations right it shouldn't be a confirmation based data you know, diet you're consuming you should be looking at everything and trying to make some reasonable rational conclusion or if you're just a normal citizen you just you know go by what the experts say but if you want to question things fair enough but if you're going to question things and you're going to you know dispute the concerns that are legitimate at least come with a semi-coherent argument you can't go flying off the handle, you know, essentially uh, accusing your fellow, um, you know, your fellow community members of being, what, conspiring against humanity to essentially, what, lead us into some sort of, lead them, sorry, into some sort of military state. It's mad, isn't it? And as I said, like I said, it always comes in freeze. It's very rarely you get somebody who believes in not wearing masks who doesn't believe in other conspiracy theories. And that's what they are, really, isn't it? It's just madness, really. I don't understand it. And again, if you just look at it from just a plain, I don't know, you know, b basic level understanding, it's an airborne virus, right? That gets trans, that gets um, passed around via, you know, your eyes and your fucking mouths and whatever it may be. So it makes sense that you'd want to protect those uh, passages so that you won't spread it around right that's just what you'd think is common sense fair enough you could argue maybe it's not necessary to wear it outside that's one you know strong argument for that right there's a lot of research to show that it does spread easy when you're in close proximity with people in an indoor environment and people are talking a lot and there's not a lot of you know um, good airflow coming in the building fair but just to say you shouldn't wear it at all flat out is nuts. But I guess that these are the same people who definitely believe that it's not really real. They think it's all fake, it's all a hoax. Which makes me think sometimes it kind of puts, maybe again, you know, not, not defending Alex Jones, but you remember when everyone was getting, when everyone was losing their minds because Alex Jones said the Sandy Hook massacre, you know, the school shoot, you know, the Sandy Hook school shooting was essentially a, a fake, right? Um, that the kids that died, they weren't, weren't real and everyone... That uh, all the parents that were crying on television, destroyed that their families had been ripped apart, were crisis actors. Now that is obviously an egregious crime. You can't go around saying those kind of things. But is this any more different than somebody clearly, you know, with, that looks perfectly sane for the most part? You know, you can't be just somebody uh, state of mind based on the outside exterior. But somebody saying, "Hey, I don't need to wear anything. This is all a big conspiracy." Isn't that the same when the tally in America is, I think, fast approaching 150,000 people have died of this virus? It's just a, so reckless and mad <laughs> to think that. And again, I think keep your own counsel, right? I don't necessarily see the reason or you need to even, if you don't believe it's true and you want to, you know, maintain your right to go mask free, then do it, innit? Um, keep your own house in order. But to 
shout and berate others for doing what they think is safe is really bizarre. I've never actually, but again, maybe it's a caricature of an American citizen where you kind of always feel as if like you have to, um, I don't know, you have to broadcast your views or the way you live your life to others in the hope that you might influence them. I don't know, but very, very bizarre. I just thought that was interesting to start off. I was like, Jesus Christ, you went in ham. You know, Bill Gates, Bill, Bill Gates, Bill Clinton, 5G Towers, Satan, um, Sin, everything went on. Everything went there. Everything. She went hard, hard in the paint. But big up her.